Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to review Airtable. The first thing I'm going to focus on are pricing plans. Then I'm going to give you the walkthrough of the whole tool and while I'll be doing it I'm going to talk to you about the cons and pros of Airtable. Also I will show you the top features that I like on Airtable and then I'm going to talk to you about alternatives that you can find. Now Airtable is a great project management tool. I personally don't use it but I, I recommend it because I create a lot of videos about Airtable, like how we can use it, uh, how we can use Airtable for CRM. They get really good templates, but there is a one disadvantage. This is going to be like a small talk about Airtable. The huge disadvantage of Airtable, I personally think is, is that it got really high learning curve. And to understand how the basis, how the project works, uh, what you can do to fields, how many filters, groups you have sorting, it can get overwhelming for if you like first time working with project management. So that's like, like that's a disadvantage that I can find. Now, definitely write down below in the comments your thoughts on Airtable, what do you think about it? So when I come here to the pricing plans, that's the first thing. Pricing plans, the pro version is a little bit expensive, but the free version got a lot of stuff included. So even when you compare like what you can find in C features and compare plans, so let me show you. So I'm going to hide my camera now so you can see everything. Okay, so you got unlimited basis, number of users five. Views, yes, in free and plus, you don't have Gantt timeline personal log view sections. That's a bummer. Maybe you would need Gantt and timeline, so we need to choose a pro version. Then when we go further, but when you don't need the free, uh, when you don't need the Gantt view and timeline view, the free and plus is amazing. Automations, again, you got in both. Okay. Okay, and that's like pretty much it, right? So you got a lot of stuff already in free account and that's why I give thumbs up on Airtable pricing. Even the plus is okay if you need more records, more maximum users, but of course, if you need the Gantt, if you need the timeline of you, you need to choose the pro version. There is no other way around it. So that's pretty much the pricing, it's good but the pro version is a little bit more expensive. Now, when we come here to the Airtable walkthrough, or what, what, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. So, as I mentioned, the high learning curve and long onboarding, those are the two disadvantages that I personally see in Airtable. Other than that, it's perfect. So, you can keep track of project statuses, see who's working on which project, add details to project statuses, like contact name, when it's due, etc. You get nice interface and it's, easy to configure if you know how to configure it. So let me show you how we can configure it. When you come here to Airtable, what do you have? You're gonna find uh, the workspace. Workspace can be name of your company. Then you're gonna have the bases and bases are like, let's imagine uh, a YouTube channel, accounting, or revenue, uh, like the analytics. Then I can have also the the quartal, the, the goals in a company. So these could be all your bases. So let's say I have a base called YouTube channel. And in YouTube channel or like in your base, you're gonna have tables. Tables can be to-do, ideas. Like imagine that you're gonna have a CRM. Tables would be like contacts, accounts. Uh, then there will be opportunities, sales pipeline. So all of that would you have in tables under CRM. So under my YouTube channel, I have to do what I want to do. Then I have ideas. And then let's say I can have, I don't know, income from those. And that's how the tables work. Now, what you can do when you enter Airtable, you're going to find on the left side all the views that you can use. So you can choose the grid, which is a normal, uh, like what you see here. Then you're going to find uh, the form. Form is like, like let's say you're gonna use a fields from the grid view and you can easily add them as a questions. So people can fill it and then uh, your grid view would fill out. So if someone is going to fill the form, you would find it right here. Then you have the Kanban. The Kanban is pretty straightforward, easy to use, and you can like uh, stack by status. So you see right here that you can easily stack it by status or priority. So it's changed from medium, low, high to again, back to the status. Now I can easily filter it, sort it, 
or change the color. Now, when I go to the, let's say, a calendar, this is also pretty cool that I have here. Uh, you can have like the calendar here. That's pretty straightforward. Then you have a gallery. Gallery are your tasks that you would find. And these are like really good features that you can have. And then you're going to have the timeline. The timeline view is in pro version, but here you can easily change the colors, change the group by. So you can really edit it and play around it. But again, if you're just starting out with Airtable, it can get overwhelming. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is when you would have a grid view, I'm going on the right side and I can easily add next to duration plus. Here I can uh, add these fields. Link to another record is like a dependency that I can link something from a different table. Single line text, attachment, multi-select, single select, like uh, high, low, priority, medium. Then I have a date, phone number, email, currency, percentage, formulas, roll up, count, lock up, create time. So a lot of, lot of really great field types that everything what you have is great for the air table. So that's really cool and really good and easy to use. And now when I go even further, the next thing that we can have are like adding uh, the empty tables, uh, adding the fields I showed you. Then what you can do is to easily use automations next to the data. Here you're going to have the action type as a sent email. And like you can have like, okay, when something happens, when a record matches the conditions, when a form is submitted, when a record is created. So let's say when a record is created, right? Change trigger, select the table to do. What is going to happen? I'm going to send an email, create a record, update the record, find records. So you can all, you can do all of these stuff here and that's pretty perfect. So my recommendation is that I would recommend using our table, testing it out by yourself. If you like it, if you don't like it, if you find it useful, it's uh, more complex comparing to Monday.com from my perspective. It's easier to use comparing to ClickUp and it's much faster comparing to ClickUp. So what are the alternatives? You can use Smartsheet, but in my opinion, Smartsheet is kind of old. Asana got less, uh, less options, less features comparing to Airtable. Monday.com is a good competition to Airtable, but it's like all the colors and it's flashy. And I'm going to turn the camera now. So again, Monday.com is kind of good, what you can use in Airtable. Uh, the another one, Rike, uh, okay-ish, but less features comparing to Airtable. Then you have a teamwork, which is probably more expensive, but also a lot of features and you can get overwhelmed there. And I don't know what other competition I would mention. So these, like Monday.com is the biggest competitor, I would say, to Airtable, but they are both great. They're both great tools, fast. ClickUp is slow and ClickUp is all right. It got a lot of features. It got a lot of things that you can do there, but sometimes it's lagging and I don't like when a tool is not fast. So that's just like my perspective on it. Um, what I would say next, <laughs> I'm thinking right now. So to summarize this whole video, uh, Airtable is amazing project management tool. I recommend it with all 10. I would give Airtable nine out of 10 and I would recommend it Literally for everyone to test it out. But again, your team can be can find it really hard to use. Maybe they need something like Asana. Maybe you don't need all the stuff that you're going to have in Airtable. But maybe uh, when you compare the Asana free version and Airtable free version, Airtable is completely dominating uh, Asana. Or like even even Monday.com free version. But Asana and As uh, not. Airtable and ClickUp got best free accounts. So if you're looking just for free accounts, Airtable is top notch. And I would definitely recommend for you to use it and to test it out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know what else to share with you. Uh, my recommendation is test it out, try it out. You have a link down below in the description that you can test it out. And those are my two disadvantages that is going to take a long time to uh, like understand and even if you have complex project management things to have I don't know but I, I I believe in you it's not that hard like notion from my perspective and I believe that you can do this so thank you very much guys for watching hope you are going to have a great day
है ना सी ए